Now, a developing story from the town of Chictawaga, where so far, one person among the 570 asylum seekers sent to Erie County from New York City has been confirmed to have an active case of tuberculosis. Now, that is, of course, a bacterial infection, which usually affects the lungs, but it can also affect the kidneys, the brain, even the spine. Channel 2's Ron Plants is here now in studio with what he was able to learn and observed himself today, along with additional cost information from Governor Hochul. Right, Ron? That's right, Scott and Mary Alice. Now, tuberculosis can be deadly if not treated in a patient, and we are being told this person is being treated in isolation. And we saw the Erie County Health Department effort in a clearly visible parking lot of a hotel in Cheektowaga where asylum seekers are staying. Staffers from the Health Department and County Emergency Services with their vehicles tents on site for the identified medical procedure of vaccinating individuals, even though at one point one staffer told us to leave because it was quote a public health emergency. But we were actually on a public sidewalk right in the neighborhood. Erie County Health says it demanded that tuberculosis screening with the use of state money for the Jericho Road Resettlement and Healthcare Agency to help do that work. And here's what was said about this situation at last night's Cheektowaga Town Board meeting right there and comments today from Governor Hochul on state expense beyond the original $1 billion allocated for the migrants from the current state budget. It is confirmed there is one TB case. Um, they did tell me yesterday. Um, Erie County Health did not report that. That came from New York City when I was talking with them. And the, the patient is in the room and there are guards at the door to make sure the patient does not leave and the meals are being brought to the patient's room. It is not an outbreak, so there is no concern, I'm assuming, at the county level. Our $1 billion, now we have these additional costs and I've already spoken to leaders about probably the need to put another billion in next year's budget. We, we have to deal in the realities. There has to be money to support the city in housing these individuals because this is a humanitarian crisis. Now we requested but did not get an interview with the Erie County Health Commissioner, Dr. Gail Burstein, to better explain their work today. However, we got a statement from them as well as that New York City subcontractor, Doc Go, which handles transport, shelter and services. They said that the migrants prior to transportation upstate were screened by their Doc Go medical staffers with a nurse practitioner or physician's assistant looking for any communicable disease like COVID, any other symptoms they observed or were communicating by the individual. Now, so far, the state giving $250 million to New York City, which then funnels that to Doc Go for this work with the migrants here upstate. In the studio, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.